Hi, and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to implement arrays. But before we can actually start implement arrays, we first need to understand what is an array and what's the difference between an array and a normal variable. So let's quickly have a look. So first of all, on the left hand side, we can see a normal variable. So a variable has three important things. First of all, a variable has a type. Now in this case, it's integer. Then a variable has a name. And then thirdly, a variable has a value. And in this case, the value is 10. Now what's the difference between a variable and an array? Now an array, is very similar to a variable but it's actually a row of variables but this row of variables has the same name but how do you distinguish between each and every variable in this row by a index so on the right hand side you can see an array as four very important things first of all an array has a type so in this case it's also integer so all the variables in this row has the same type and that's the rule for an array everyone in the array needs to have the same type then an array has a name thirdly an array has a size now this size explains the size of the array and in layman's terms the amount of variables in the row and in this case there's four variables in this row thus the size is equal to four and then fourth each and every variable in this row has a value so an array has four important things type name size and each space has a value. So that's an array. Now var variables we use quite often and the same for arrays because we can group a lot of values or data together with only using one name. So let's go to code blocks and see how we will implement an array in actual C programming. So we have our basic C programming structure and we're going to declare our first array. So first of all, an array has a type and in this case, it's going to be integer. So we say int. Then an array has a name and let's call this array, array one. Thirdly, an array has a size. Now, how do we indicate this size? by using square brackets. Now, we will have an array of size four. And then each and every space or variable in this row has a value. And the easy way to declare each and every space in the array to a certain value is by saying equal, the same as how we do it in a variable, but now there's four spaces that we need to give a value and how do we do this by using curly brackets semicolon and then inside this curly brackets we need to give each space a value so we're going to say one four three and two for instance okay now one thing we need to make sure of is let's quickly go back to the previous slide. If you have a look at this array, our indexes of each space has a specific index. So the first space in the array, the index starts at zero. So if an array has a size of four, the indexes will always be from zero to three. If the array has a size of 100, the indexes will be from 0 to 99, etc. 
So let's go back to our go blocks. Now, how do we access each and every variable in this array? Let's use a printf statement to illustrate this. So we will say array index 1 is equal to percentage d. So how do we work with index 1? Now it's very important to note that index 1 is not the first value. It's actually the second value because index 0 is the first index. So array 1, we want to display the second index. And we use the square brackets and we say 1. And we can do this for another index. Let's say print f index 3. That would be our last value in the array. So let's see what happens. Let's just add new lines to make it nice and neat. We save and we display. And let's see what happens if we build and run. Oops. Here you can also see that array is not the same as the array declared. So there's just a spelling mistake. It's array one. So now we can actually build and run and we can see what happens to the output. So in command prompt, you can see array index one is equal to four. And oops, let's just quickly correct this one as well. Array index three. An array index three is equal to two. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you declare an array and also how do you display index by index the value of an array. That's all from me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.